Great. Good to see everybody. Um, yeah, I'm so proud of our team's effort and to come away with a win in that game. The game went about the way we'd expected it to. We, we, we knew it was going to be a, a low-scoring, hard-fought game. Uh, going in, we felt that both defenses would have the advantage in their matchup against the opposing offense. That proved to be true uh, on the night. Um, and I got to give credit to, the, to their defense. Florida State's got some real, you know, they got some real guys that I thought played really well up front tonight. And they were a handful for us to block. Um, but the, the game was won by our defense, um, creating the turnovers in the first half, the three turnovers on the three straight possessions, um, allowed us to take control of the game. And the one thing we really had not had this season that we had talked about was to take control of a game where we can put the uh, uh, opposition offense under pressure. Um, and especially when you're playing with a young quarterback, let alone two young quarterbacks on the road, really making their first true road start, um, and then making them have to play from behind. I think that was a key sequence of events there in the first half. So even though we weren't, you know, we didn't capitalize off the turnovers with all the points that we wish we would have, um, but we were still able to get a double-digit lead. Um, and then once we had the lead, we never relinquished it. Again, defensively, we're just outstanding. So many, you know, so many great contributions. But but overall, I just thought our front and the way that we played and the way that we were relentless getting after the quarterback was was just. The, the telling difference in the game up to the last drive, you know, and, and you know, those last drives sometimes offense can get momentum, but I just thought um, it just looked like the guy never had a chance to set up, never had a chance to, to make, you know, one, two, three and throw. There was always something that's running around, which also means that you're covering on the back end. You're not, the quarterback can't get the ball to his first look. So um, very proud of Jonathan Packey and that defense staff. I just thought they were phenomenal. They did a, they did a phenomenal job um, shutting down this offense and, you know, not allowing a touchdown was, was, humongous. Um, offensively, it was going to be a hard day, as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, I have to mention the personnel aspect of it as well. You know, Jordan Moore was very limited um, in this game. And then not having Nikki um uh, midway through the week, Nikki uh, suffered a lower leg injury. That's going to um, force him to miss the rest of the season. And that's one of our best players. So really, we felt like we were playing without three of our best players on offense today with, without Jordan Jacquez and Nikki. So a credit to the guys that played. Credit to, the, to Star Thomas for grinding out every yard that he did because we needed all of them. And the one thing I will say about our offense, I, and I believe this is true, I, is that when you know the kickoff return, which was very disappointing that we allowed to start the third quarter, we came back and we answered with a field goal drive, which, which was a big deal. Um, and I do think they, they kicked another field goal in the second half to make it four, and I'm pretty certain that started the long run on that, and we got the kick a field goal again to make, get it back to seven. So we never, they, I don't think they ever had the ball within a touchdown once we took control. And I think, I think that was a big deal when I go back to what I was talking about, about keeping the opposition under pressure, which allowed our defense to make those type of plays that won the game. So um, like I said, great to be six and one, great to be bowl eligible, but in our mind, we're still thinking two and one in the league and, and all the play for going forward. So with that, questions. What allowed your defense to be so consistent all night? Did, did they make adjustments? Did you guys adjust just along with them? or? How did that work? Usually, other teams make adjustments. You know, after going well, I thought the key was is that we were really good against the run. Um, you know, they, they they had a couple of the, the really the, the main run threat was the quarterback, which really had not been something that we had, we had anticipated and expected. But but by doing a great job of shutting down the run, um, look, football's not complicated, right? If, if you're on the road and you can't run and you've got inexperienced quarterbacks, it's going to be hard. And, and ultimately, that's what it was. And, and uh, they've got a good staff that's got great ideas, and, and they're and they're well schemed up. But again, if it, it's hard, they just can't establish a run. It's just difficult to expect a young quarterback to come out um, and do a lot down the field. And and uh, and getting those turnovers, you know, early on on a QB run on on the P and ten on the on the sort of the screen and go or whatever it was. I, I thought that was that was huge. As good as your defensive has been throughout the season, you guys really hadn't generated too many turnovers. Right. Was that a key focus for you during the bye week? I mean, well, not, not so much during the bye week. I mean, we 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 focus on it every week, of course, as you would imagine. Sure. But, but what we did feel like it would be it would be telling in this game because, you know, I think FSU was 80th in the country and and and, and turnovers surrendered. So we, we did feel like it was a little of a weakness for them. Um, but turnovers happen. I, 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 the formula to me has never been complicated. Again, if you do a great job versus the run and make quarterbacks have to throw, when you know they have to throw. That's usually when bad things happen. But we had some unusual ones today. Not like I said, Ozzie Nicholas with an amazing um, knock on the ball and a QB to get it out. 
Um, and I think it was Christian Roy that forced one in the in the fourth quarter that Preston uh, Watson um, recovered. So just a lot of great contributions. I mean, you, there's, it feels like there's so many guys on our defense we can talk about that that had standout performances today. You mentioned the response 